going to Riga, Latvia. I was here for Ping Festival, which is a conference designed for brands, creatives and influencers to all meet merge and possibly collaborate in the future. It was really cool because we all got a chance to attend events, learn more about how to strategize, um, learn about content marketing, uh, things from a branding point of view and get to network a bunch, like I networked a lot. Pink Festival have partnered up with the Latvia Tourism Board and they've brought me out here for a post tour trip to explore Riga and to find out more about the city. Now I've never been to Riga before either and we've got a jam packed three days so I thought I would show you my experience here and and all the activities and also I was told today that it's actually restaurant week in the city so all the restaurants are going to be pairing the best food of the season and I cannot wait. <laughs> around Riga, Latvia. Apparently the food here is pretty good, so we're gonna start off with Central Market. There's five different pavilions, and each pavilion specialised in a different thing. So right now, I'm in the meat market, and there's one just for vegetables, there's one just for fruit, and I think there's one for like dairy products and things like that. So we're gonna go around, have a little walk around, and see all the fresh produce. This is where all the local shops have their daily groceries. So we're gonna have a little browse around, and maybe stop along the way, and have a few bites to eat. Or maybe like many bites to eat, so yeah, let's go. Do you want to smell it? Mmm, what's in it? The, the spices. Like an Indian. <laughs> Magic spices. Indian, uh, Indian spices. So this guy here at the spice shop is like some magician with the and spices. And you could say when yeah. you came from Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he thinks I'm from Hawaii. I wish I was from Hawaii. Better than chocolate. Better than chocolate? What is inside? That is natural. That's made from tahini sesame paste. But inside some sugar, a meal, a uh, little bit of uh, salt, and some hazelnuts and that's all. Mmm, it tastes like um, so nougat, good. yeah, but like good. healthy nougat. Mm. And something special. This is a dried melon. Yeah. What but kind of melon? Just melon. Just melon. Mm. It's chewy in a good way. It feels a bit meaty. But very very sweet. One thing I've noticed about this market is how clean and organized everything is and I probably have managers coming in every single day just to do a check on how hygienic and organized things are and if it doesn't meet the standard then the people are basically booted out of the store so everybody tries to keep it as clean and as good as possible and that's so good to see. It's very different to Asia wet markets where it's all very very hectic and there's loads of things going on and things are flying around but not here. We're just going through the dairy bit now and then we're now going to go to the fruit and vegetable part and I'm excited to smell all the fruits because everything smells amazing. Right, so we stopped off at a little fish restaurant I'm gonna try this Latvian delicacy. So on the top we've got some raw herring, underneath some beetroot, lettuce and it sits on dark rye bread as well. And there's only one euro fifty which is insane and all of the produce is fresh from the market so let's give this a go. The raw herring is so so fresh and it complements the beetroot really well, the dill and a duck rye bread is crunchy as well so it's a mix of textures it's all over my face I'm gonna finish it now, it's amazing mm. So our foodie guys just recommended for us to try this homemade beer and it comes in this little plastic bottle you can get honey beer, cranberry beer or hemp beer and it's all homemade so uh, got some cranberry beer, a half a litre of it, I've never tried it before so uh, let's give this a go I'm gonna try my cranberry beer now. Just try it. Open it with one hand. Wait a second. Yeah. It tastes just like cider, basically. It's just like a cranberry cider. It's a little bit sour. We've still got a little bit of the malted flavors from the beer. Mmm. Very, very, very refreshing. Oh, I like it. It's good, isn't it? Best beer I've had. <laughs> Lunch time, and we oh, are going to Valtera Restaurant for Contemporary Cuisine. <laughs> We 
We are now at a restaurant called Fest for dinner and we've basically, well we nearly all of the whole menu advertised but the lady stopped us and thought we can't finish it but uh, obviously haven't met us before because we eat quite a lot. So we've ordered like nachos and calamari and crispy fish tacos and aioli sauce and also some hummus and olives and stuff and then a round of mains. So I'm very very happy right now. It's a very cool place here. It's only like 10 minutes from the hotel from the centre of town. Yeah. I am ready to dig in so let's get eating. Fox and we basically ordered three mains between us to share because we're like that. Kata here has just brought over some salted licorice with raspberries, which is a Finnish sweet, right? Yeah, and I love it. You love it. <laughs> the only thing I never eat is licorice, but she said this will change my mind, so I'm actually yeah. really nervous. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Sweets. Mm -hmm. Dang! You know, usually with licorice, they're really like. Yeah, usually it is. So the brand is Visa, and if you don't like licorice usually, you may like this one because it's really good. Yeah. We've just ordered. What did we even order again? Avocado toast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pancakes with banana. Yeah. And oh, some sugar free, -free jam. Chia jam. <laughs> Good morning from Latvia. Hello. What are we doing today? Going on a swamp hike. I'm so excited about that. She is very, yes. very excited. <laughs> so we've just stopped off in the middle of the woods and we've got quite a little walk down to the swamp. We have these special shoes like this. They're like skis but a bit wider, they're not as thin. And we all have rubber boots so yeah, we are ready. I've never done this before, so I yeah. hope there's no alligators and I hope we survive to tell the tale. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. How are you finding it so far? Really good. It's funny when your like shoes sinks into the yeah. mud. Yeah, it's like proper sludgy and we've seen uh, wild pig poop, smooth poop, deer tracks, bamboo tracks. So we're like really far in the woods. Five meters deep. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> Could be thinking right um, now. Can it go get more? So, you can see how quick you can see how you We made it and look how beautiful it is behind. It's very, very calm. This is definitely worth the hike. Ah. Marlene, how did you find it? It was so cool when our guide jumped into the water. Yeah. I mean, like I would never have dared to because he was sinking like, I mean, one meter down to the, to the mud, but it was so cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> and then we got chocolate afterwards. <laughs> We've completed the swamp walk and at one point I was sinking down and it went all the way up to my calves and the nice guy had to like basically just pull me out because I was like, I'm stuck. We're now at a restaurant called Mekes Kors and it's a very traditional restaurant here and look how cool it is. I feel like I'm right in the countryside because we are right in the countryside. So we're gonna have some traditional Latvian food and I see bunnies, the little bunny. Look, wait. Hello, little bunny. Hi. It's lunch time. We have onion ring, bacon, cheese, rye bread, and an assortment of Chinese. This is kind of wine. Wine. Mm. 
white uh, please white okay so they're calling this a dumpling but to me it kind of tastes like a brioche bread and uh, it's got some herbs on the top and also bits of meat inside it's a little bit fatty so i've got some beans here i thought they were like cocoa rocks only love you to eat beans at christmas time because they believe that if you eat the beans then you're not going to cry for the rest of the year because they're shaped like little tear drops so when you eat it you're absorbing all the tears <coughs> That's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> Did you eat the mushrooms on a breakfast? No, I didn't see any bre what? Oh, breakfast. What? They were so good. There's mm. nothing left. I'm gonna go tomorrow early. Yeah. Time to try two very traditional Latvian desserts. So this one is made with rye bread, dried fruit, and water mixed together. And then on the top there's whipped cream and also some strawberries and blueberries. So it looks very pretty. I thought it was chocolate mousse, but this is way more traditional. So I'm gonna give this a try. And then the second one, this is made of cottage cheese with some jam, sugared yeah. oats and fruit as well. So two different desserts. Let's give this a go. Ah, nice. We have and different go. variations of this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But this has a lot of a lot more spices than mummy. This is much I like better. the texture of this as well. It tastes very um festive. Like it tastes like it's a Christmas dessert. Oh, okay. It's good. Yeah, I think like, but it's not too yeah, sweet. Too. Mm. I've never had cottage cheese before. Oh, I should also try this one now. This tastes like um, a cheesecake. I like it. Mm. What was it? Mm. Cottage cheese. Cottage mm. cheese, yeah. We are now at this beautiful manor. It's called Le Poupe. <laughs> Le Poupe Manor. We're going to go and tour around the place. We're going to go make pancakes. We're going to chill there. And we're going to have a shower. It's going to be great. Look at how pretty it is. <laughs> cooking class at the manor we're about to make some dumplings we're gonna make that first bake them and when they're baking we're gonna move on to pancakes so right now we're just putting flour on the board and I'm gonna try do it now if you saw my dumpling video you'll know that I'm not the best at making dumplings I'm good at eating them but uh, maybe this will be different today let's give it a go and you put the bottom bit on the tray. Oh, that's <laughs> You can tell next to the chef's one which one's my mouth. Uh. So we've just finished making the dumplings. I put egg wash on it and then I think put some herbs over the top. So now they're baking and we're going to make some Latvian pancakes. So there's two options. One is a cottage cheese for the veggies and the other one is a meat version. And that's the same filling as we use for the dumplings. But obviously the pastry for this one is a lot thinner dough compared to the dumplings one. It's a lot thicker because it's been baked. And this one is more like a crepe. So let's make some pancakes. Hot, 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 hot. Put it here. <laughs> Is this right? Right. Yeah? Yeah! We just did Ooh. a cheerleader dance to a cheer and Marie on and I think uh, we did a Yes, this was actually working up our appetite. This is more strenuous than the swamp we did this morning. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast at the moment. And we have no coordination, yeah. but we still Ooh. managed to do a dance. <laughs> This is what the pancake looks like inside. We put sour cream and jam over the top. And then this is what we had earlier for lunch, but difference is we made it this time. This is delicious. Soul Crust 
next to beach. <laughs> and it is beautiful here. It's so nice. It's so and the water good. is warm. But it's the opposite of warm, but it's very beautiful. And you'd never think that this would be in Latvia. And I think this is the most pretty beach I've seen. We are just one hour outside Riga. And we are in paradise. We're in paradise. Paradise. Ooh. Waiting for sunset. <laughs> and everybody's just there, there, there. We are Endless. This beach yeah. is endless. <laughs> Say bye to the floor. Bye. Love you. You're great. Mm -hmm.